Yeah. So this is the program and this is the solution. Now I want you to write the program for it. So writing a program for it is not going to be complicated. All right. There were so many people. Uh, I've been just checking the pre practice pre word exam papers. Uh, are we going to use accumulators counters here? Any accumulator or counter? No. Yes, sir. No, not yet. Actually, the edge that we have taken here is going to accumulate things, isn't it? So this is the accumulator that we are talking about here. H H is something which is going to be doubled. H is something which is going to be increased by one. Okay, so H is here accumulator. So and please remember, are we supposed to put in the loop something like H is equal to H plus one? Do we do like this? No, sir. Okay, if I write like this, what do you think? is the problem h is not initialized h is not even declared yes and it will be new for every yes so no pehli to baat hai ye line execute hi nahi hogi kyun nahi hogi because agar aap int h likh rahe ho iska matlab aapne h create hi nahi kiya agar aapne create hi nahi kiya to ye h kaun sa hai the second h are we clear or no Everybody, I'm going to ask somebody now. Are we clear about this? If I write int h is equal to h plus one, what is wrong with this line? Can anybody explain? Please raise your hands. Or koi? Or koi? Okay, I'm not going to name any person, but there are people who have been doing this. So I just wanted to make sure that you don't do this mistake. Only three people have can can explain this to me. Only three people. Jeevan Jyot, you cannot explain this to me. Jeevan Jyot. All right. Vancouver. Yes, sir. Yes, Mankover. Can you not explain this to me? What is what is wrong with this line? Sir, I can. Okay. Sir, since, uh, from here we can say that H has not been initialized earlier, so we cannot uh, add something into add some add one into H which is not uh, has not been created or initialized. Okay, now please remember up Are you talking about created or are you talking about initialized? You understand the difference between the two? So when I write when I write int m I am creating if I write m is equal to zero I am initializing or say finding a value. Okay. Here M has been in created and M has been initialized. It has been given a value. Chalo. Ab mujhe batao, isme problem kya aari hai? Pehli to baat hai, ye program compile bhi hoga ya nahi hoga? No, sir. No, it is not going to be compiled. So, Mankumar, tell me what is going to happen? I mean, why is, will it not be uh, compiled? So we have not initialized any value to it and so we cannot add anything to it. We have not initialized. Okay. Uh, what is this line telling us? When you write int h is equal to h plus one, what, what are you actually trying to do? So we are adding one, uh, one to h and then we are storing it into it. Okay. Tell me what is this part doing? Uh, it is creating a variable named it is and creating a variable. So Mankumar, when we are creating a variable here, I don't expect H to be initialized anywhere up there before the for loop. Can I expect it? I have not even no. created it. 
no na yes sir no na so if i am writing like int h that means i have not i am creating it now i have not created it earlier so i have not even created it initialize to chodo samajh rahe ho yes sir sir but if we do the same thing outside a method then it will work outside the method uh, like a okay. instance variable no it will not work it will not work the right side wala is not there okay sir क्रिएट नहीं ना हुआ बेटा ओके अब तुम सोचो इफ आई राइट इट लाइक दिस यस सर आई हैव द सेम डॉट सर इजंट द व्हेन इट इज आउटसाइड द मेथड एनी इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल इज गिवन द वैल्यू ऑफ 0 हां दैट इज आफ्टर आफ्टर क्रिएशन मे वेरिएबल क्रिएशन आफ्टर नॉट ड्यूरिंग या इफ आई राइट दिस एज एज द इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल Outside the method, this is not going to work. ठीक है? Okay, sir. okay, okay. Now suppose I write this. Uh, and before the for loop, I write, write int h. ये for loop के अंदर है. It will not work. It won't work. Not will come. Not work. Okay. Why will it not work? H has not been H assigned an initial value. H has not been initialized. So if I write H is equal to zero, will it work? Yes, sir. It yes. will work. So if I don't write this line and if I write int here, will it work? No, sir. It no. Okay, it will never work. Okay. So please understand this. So int as a nee faltu me laga dena. Log faltu laga dete ho. Okay. this was my first question was pretty uh pretty simple not very complicated all right i don't think you have done this kind of a question before have you yes you have or not we have we have uh -huh. or i have okay i think i may have given or you have may have done it on your on your own so suppose you have two arrays a is an array containing values 1 2 3 4 5 and b is a is an array containing values 2 4 6 8 and 10 what is going to be the solution for a union b 1 2 3 4 5 Six, eight, ten. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, eight, and ten. So that means it will have the values of both the arrays and only the unique values. So I have already clearly written here that unique values should be taken from both A and B. So one, two, three, four, five have been taken from A, but because two and four are existing in A also, so they are not repeated again. उसके बाद सिक्स एट टेन रुपी आ रही है उसके अंदर ओके सेकेंड वाले का कोई आंसर इंटरसेक्शन टू एंड टू फोर टू कॉमा फोर टू कॉमा फोर ओके सो द वैल्यूज कॉमन टू बोथ ए एंड बी ओके ए माइनस बी वन थ्री ओके सो इट विल बी वन एंड थ्री एंड Five and four, six, eight, six, ten. Eight, ten. Six, eight, and ten. Okay. चारों आंसर्स तो हमें पता चल गए. How are we going to do it? First of all, A union B में unique values आनी हैं. एक काम करते हैं. हम values taken from both कर लेते हैं इसको. Unique को हम बाद में कर लेंगे. तो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इनफैक्ट टू दोबारा से आ जाएगा एंड फोर दोबारा से आ जाएगा ऐसे ही होगा ना यस ओके या सो हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू डू इट सपोज क्रिएट अ थर्ड एरे विद द साइज ऑफ ए डॉट लेंथ प्लस बी डॉट लेंथ 
and then system dot diary copy for okay. both. Okay. Yes. Create uh, C with uh, size M plus N. As I told you, M plus N, M and N, unka size hai. Okay. Yes. Then. Then. System dot diary copy. Okay, so you can copy all n elements. So if we so need to sort the elements, yes, you don't need to. Do we need to? No, 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 no sorting is required. Sorting is not required. Copy all the elements from A to C. C. And then copy, copy all the elements from B to from the remaining C. Yes. Okay. So, first of all, the program is done. Although we have not unique elements, so this is done. Okay. Is this part okay with everybody? Is this part okay with everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, tell me if okay is for whoever is okay with this part. Just copy. We have copied the first part. We have copied the second part. Copy. Kar diya. कोई ज़्यादा मुश्किल तो नहीं है। Let me have the answers. Who, pe which people say that it is okay? Only six people say. Okay. All right. Jeevan Jodh, this program is okay with you. This part. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now, suppose I. Ye to isne, this will actually take duplicate values also in both. So, uh, now if I want unique values only, then what will I do? Jeevan Jot, now you help me in this. Can I simply blindly copy elements like this? Jeevan Jyot? Uh, yes, sir. And we just blindly copy all the values like this. Now, if I don't want, if I just want unique values there, I don't want duplicate values. Sir, so if we uh, if we want duplicate values, we can s simply use this, uh, system dot array copy. But if we uh, want only the unique values, we need to eliminate the duplicate ones. We need to eliminate duplicate ones. How would you eliminate duplicate ones? How do you propose to do it? Think. And don't think in terms of a program. Think in how would you do it? If you have these elements, then how do you copy them in a third array in which there is no duplicate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it necessary that A and B will be of same length? No. M and N size. Hai. It's not necessary. Okay. ये तो कुदरती एक साथ हो गए जैसे हो गए but they are they are not of the same length. जीवनजोत are you thinking? Please all all of you think about this now. How would you do it? Sir, again we will copy into C no, and no, no, no. think 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 think. I didn't think. One option is I add something here to eliminate. The duplicate. Can can we? Yes, sir. So that means मेरे पास जो ultimately array बना था, उसके अंदर तो duplicates values आ गई थी one two three four five two four six eight and ten ये values आ गई थी. So after from this C के अंदर ये सारा कुछ आ गया. I want to eliminate now eliminate. So one hai, two hai, three hai, four hai, five hai. Two pehle se hi hai, to main nahi copy karunga. Four pehle se copy nahi karunga. Six, eight, and ten. This is finally what I get. 
Yes, Jeevan Jyot, I have done some of your homework now. Sir, I didn't understand. Okay, this is the after copying these two. We have we have, uh, what is going to be in C is all these elements, 10 elements in which there are duplicate ones also. You can see twos are duplicate and four are duplicate. And what we do now is from this array, we eliminate the duplicate ones. So duplicate ones eliminate karne ke baad, aapke paas ye situation a jati hai. Now my question is, how do we eliminate the duplicate ones? Sir, can I try? Who wants to try? Sir, Ankit. Okay, Ankit. Try. Yes, sir. sir. I think we can convert all the elements of an array into one string. Like it would be one, two, three, four. Uh, in the string, it would be uh, same. And if the index of uh, and the last index of are same, then we would uh, like pass it and can give it to the next array. Else, uh, we would just keep uh, keep so it. We one can array. use we can use a method also of your own created by on by your own. Yes, sir. we can create a normal method and then okay. Uh, okay. for so every element call that. All right. What did Ankit say now? Convert this entire thing into a string and then copy. Why are we co converting it into a string? Basically to make things easier because we can check with the contains. I can figure out whether the number is existing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. But let it let us work with numbers only. So. Sir, how, uh, will this logic work uh, if it comes in exam? Not. It will work. Yes, okay. it is. It is working. It is working, but you have to do, uh, I mean, a lot of work here. You have to first convert these into strings and put it into a string and then convert them into numbers and put them into an, a numeric array. So, calm zada ho tumara. Halanki abhi aur bhi kaam badne wala hai fir se. Okay. How to eliminate the duplicates? I'm going to uh, stop the class now. Should I? Excuse sir. me, sir. Yes, Vita. Yes, Prapreet. Okay, sir. Sir, I maybe an idea came into my mind, sir. So, firstly, we can assume that two, no two elements in the same array would hold the same number, right, sir? Uh, huh. Are we that means then we assume. We may, the... we may not. It's not assumed. I could have two twos here also. So those two also have to be taken care of, sir. Yes, 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 yes. So it okay, will have sir. two values only. Uh -huh. okay. okay, sir. Then I'll have to think more. Thank you, sir. Think more. Okay. So anyway, हमने अभी सिर्फ first वाले part का किया है, um, where the unique values taken from both, and I have not taken uh, thought about. We have not thought about eliminating duplicates at the moment. How to eliminate, eliminate, eliminate duplicates? Ankit has given a solution which is working, but not to my liking here. Okay, so what do we do actually? We... Sir, uh, we can create a method uh, which traverses through all the elements of the uh, array and checks whether there is a repetition and we can for every uh, element of the array, call that method again and accordingly delete. Right, sir. Okay, what I was suggesting was you create an array called D, uh, same size as M plus N because you may or, or may not have duplicates and uh, if an element in C does not exist in D, then what do we do? Add it to D.
Okay, my final program is this. So what are we trying to do is, we have taken this, this is the C array. And this is my D array, which is going to be empty. Okay, so sir. D is empty. Yes. Uh, sir, in the upper section, uh, the D would contain 0, 0. If we create it with M plus N. Uh -huh. So, sir, will 0, 0 will be acceptable at the end? If we display D, the 0, 0 will be there at the end. Uh, no. And sir, it also be might that uh, that A might contain a number as zero also. So I then can... it would not add the zero there. So uh, in D up to the nth element. Okay, suppose I am working only on the first element. So up to the first element, if it is existing, then it will do. Suppose there was a zero here. We'll take yes, care of then it. Would do it yes. Okay, that'll take care of it. So anyway, don't worry about this part. So pehle to zero ko chodo. Uh, ab kya karenge? Bolo. So is this fine? So if an element in C does not exist in D, then add it to D and in the end display D. So we check. We have the first element as one. Is it existing in D? No. We add one to it. Next two. 2 is existing? No. We add 2 to it. 3? No. 4? No. 5? No. 2? It is existing, so we don't add it. 4? It is existing, so we don't add it. 6? We add. 8? We add. 10? We add. Finally, we display this. Okay? Alright. So, this is a crude program. So as Ankit said, yes, there are Ankit nahi bola tha na bhi? Yes, sir. Okay, so as Ankit said, this is not final, but roughly it's fine. It works. Yes, okay. we will send the uh, yeah. refined so, program. Yes, so you can send me the program written for uh, the utopian tree and the second wala. In fact, all four of these sections. Okay, all four of these sections. Yes. Okay. So A minus B B kar loge, B minus A B kar loge. I don't think there should be any problem. Last question hai. In fact, we will be doing uh, tomorrow. We'll start off with A intersection B, which are simpler programs. A intersection B and A minus B, B minus A. They are all simple programs, not very complicated. The last question, Fibonacci, also very not very. But you should, in fact, for the class tomorrow, at least to make programs per low ki Fibonacci series ko uh, generate kaise kiya jata hai. So that tomorrow you will be easy. Okay, so it will be easy for you. All right. Any questions for today? Any questions? Arin, your raises, uh, hand is raised or it is just it was just previously yes prapreet sir you could check the chat box sir ankit also gave us uh, the program and after that i also tried to do it uh, this one Achha, ankit had also sent yes sir i corrected here only and sent it yes sir oh, so this is uh, the one that we had. That Prabhupada has sent. If uh, it is star equals to spring. Yes, this might work, but you just check out the result. Agar result so kar I had written, yes, sir, the lower one which I had written, it comes out to the same thing. I tried it on Java. It worked, sir. Yeah, it worked is fine, but is it giving the same result as we what we expecting? Yes, sir. So I did the manual calculations and if my manual calculations are correct, then the result is correct. Okay. So what you have actually done is uh, m is n upon 2. 
does it take care of the odd one sir so after the loop after the loop to kuch bhi nahi hai acha sir this this will become less efficient as compared to the first uh, which we discussed because we are handling two for loops and multiple ifs okay isme do for loop nahi hai isme to ek hi for loop uh, one for loop and multiple ifs uh, there are only two ifs are there but two fours are there but one will execute yeah sir i just want to confirm otherwise sir um so to choose the for are we running an if in the first program are we running an if yes we are if okay. the start is same and so inside both of them we have another small if structure okay sir thank yes. you sir yes this way chalo we'll think about this let us you just check out and tomorrow let me know what is the result whether your program is working similar to my program or theek hai all right uh, anything else right. anything else okay guys i'll see you tomorrow then let me just copy this over here i'll send it over to you guys this is prabhreet's program okay then see you tomorrow and just be prepared with your questions of your own if you don't have questions of your own i'll start my own program things okay so just uh, have your questions ready and then we will meet tomorrow okay so can you please take a test uh, some day solely based on the theory uh solely based on theory yeah i can and so please if it can be written written okay why written so because uh, sir in writing uh, especially i do mistakes in theory this nahi hai in fact uh, it was very disappointing to um, read uh, i mean jo tumhara theoretical part tha majority of you have written for example convention pucha hai maine to convention batao convention is simple aap kehte ho class first letter capital rest camel case first letter small le rest camel case or constants mein everything is in capital letters so it was not a very very difficult thing or very i mean complicated jo ki do teen paragraphs mein likhna hoga aisa to nahi hai sirf char words likhne hain first letter small rest camel case bas people have started giving me rules wahan pe underscore wahan pe dollar wahan pe uh, uh, ye keywords nahi hone chahiye bhai maine rule to nahi puche maine to convention pucha hai so please read the question properly understand the question properly i want majority of you to have 100% marks isme 100 lete hain sab bachche अगर ये हम इसी तरह से क्वेश्चन को नहीं पढ़ेंगे और अपनी मर्जी से कुछ भी आंसर देंगे दैट इज गोइंग टू बी अ प्रॉब्लमैटिक थिंग सो ध्यान रखो इस चीज का ओके आंसर वट एवर इज आस्ट फॉर एंड डोंट ओवर डू थिंग्स डोंट ओवर डू देर आर सम पीपल हु रोट मेन मेन मेथड्स वेर आई डिड नॉट आस्क फॉर मेन मेथड्स आई हैव जस्ट क्रॉस्ड इट आउट आई हैव नॉट रेड दैट थिंग एट ऑल आई हैव नॉट डिडक्टेड मार्क्स बट आई हैव जस्ट सिंपली crossed it okay chalo so uh let's meet tomorrow then guys be ready with your questions okay right sir okay, okay sir right okay then see you right. then welcome beta thank you thank sir you're welcome beta